Southampton under 21 suffered a narrow defeat against league leaders Manchester United at Lee Sports Village on Monday evening. After last week's defeat against Chelsea, Martin Hunter made three changes to the side, introducing under-18s Alfie Jones, Ollie Cook and Marcus Barnes to the starting eleven. Manchester United's side included Phil Jones and Adnan Yanazai, who have 41 first-team appearances between them this season. United looked dangerous from the off. This deep cross by Andreas Pereira was latched onto by Ashley Fletcher, whose head is struck against the crossbar. Saints were poor in the opening stages and United kept threatening. This effort from Liam Grimshaw looped over the crossbar from way outside the box following a cleared corner. Eventually United took the lead. Phil Jones played a long ball over the top and Ashley Fletcher chested the ball down to rocket past Will Britt. Appeals for handball but Saints undone by poor marking. United broke on the counter and could have added a second. This time it took a crucial tackle by Jake Hesketh to stop Donald Love's run into the box. Tom Fork was denied by Britt from this corner. The Saints keeper got a superb palm to his goal with header. Saints failed to test United keeper Ben Amos in the first half. Their best attempt was from this Domgate free kick, which landed straight into the goalkeeper's arms. Britt stayed strong on this occasion to deny Fletcher his second on the stroke of half-time. The second half was a very different story and in truth Saints should have stole a point if not ran away with all three. Sam McQueen's free kick caused a bit of bother as it bounced about in the area forcing United into clearing for a corner. Sam Gallagher produced some lovely skill before failing to properly connect with his volley which trickled into the goalkeeper's arms. Gape had another free kick on the hour mark which offered more power but was too central to trouble the goalkeeper. Jake Hesketh played in Marcus Barnes here, who showed a smart turn and flashed a shot goalwards. Unlucky for Barnes though, who saw his effort fall just wide. Saints were getting closer. Hesketh played a teasing low ball and Gallagher must have thought he'd scored. Unfortunately for him, the ball deflected over off the crossbar. Minutes later in the crossbar was Saints enemy once again. This time Hesketh carved an opening for himself on the edge of the area and drilled one off the top of the upright. Saints were still doing the right things at the other end. Josh Debayo held up Yanazai and Jason McCarthy made the crucial tackle as United threatened on the break. In the dying seconds of the game, Saints were thwarted by a world-class stop from Amos. Sam McQueen picked it up on the edge of the area and curled a left-footed effort round the defender, only to be denied by an acrobatic Amos who secured all three points for United. A tale of two halves, but ultimately a defeat for Martin Hunter's side. Final score, Manchester United 1, Southampton nil. Second half, I thought, uh, they took on board a lot of things that were said at half-time, and I thought we were uh, very good and, and boarding on excellent at times. Um, first half, disappointed. Uh, we did some work about that one, one long ball's uh, gone into their striker and he scored, and then uh, it was a scrappy first half. Second half, very, very good performance. Disappointing result to take, but I thought we had a good performance in the second half. If we started that way, it would have been a different result. Like we hit the post twice, offside goal, and I think if it was a bit of a handball of the goal, but maybe it's a different day. It's our win, really. After the first half, it was a bit of a sloppy start, but you really picked up and, and probably should have had something from the game in the second half. Yeah, definitely. Just they just they didn't really play through us once. Like we were in control most of the game. We picked up the second balls and we played through them, which they didn't do to us. And they just got a really lucky goal, which wasn't, which was really unfortunate. So. Sam uh, has brought a good save off the keeper right at the death, and we've hit the bar twice. So um, that's good to say the least. And their their um, their keeper was kept far more busy. I mean, Will has had one corner to deal with from a from a, a long sort of back post delivery. He's not had a save to make in the second half. Given that you're up against a team with international Premier League football league experience and quite a lot of it tonight, how well do you think the lads acquitted themselves? Well, again, second half, very well. Bearing in mind we've got three young debutants tonight. But we talked about, you know, th this is a great opportunity to show how good or potentially how good they are. Um, some of them have grasped that. Um, 
some of the more senior players um, you know, need, to, need to have a look. They, they, they were uh, not as good as we would have liked. You had a bit of a half chance in the second half as well with that shot that just went past the post. Talk us through that one. Yeah, just got on the half turn, had a half a yard of space, and I thought, oh, I'll just go for it. And I thought it left my foot, and I thought it was a great, like, great, <laughs> great strike, but and just went a little bit past the post. And I was a bit disappointed, but maybe on another day it will go in.